from the Ticats Audio Network. This is Just the Point. Great to have you with us for game number 13 of the season for the Tiger Cats, home to the two-time defending champion Winnipeg Blue Bombers and the Tiger Cats coming off a bye week. They know what they have to do. It's win, and it's not easy against Winnipeg. We'll see if they're a little bit healthier. We know they are. Dane Evans is going to start a quarterback, and we'll see how the execution is. But now, no matter what has happened previously for the Tiger Cats, They don't have much choice but to rack up some victories here, Luke, and no better time than to start on this beautiful sunny afternoon in Hamilton. So, first possession of the game, Tiger Cats are going to try for some points, and that's good to not let Winnipeg score first. They're 8-0 when they score first. Dane Evans will be the holder for Seth Small. He has hit from 58 yards. This one is a 52-yard attempt for Seth Small. The kick is up, and it's good. And it's a good start for the Tiger Cats. First possession, and they lead the game 3-0, thanks to a great kick from Seth Small. Getting close to the midway point of the opening quarter. Tiger Cats lead 3-0, but the Bombers have a first and goal from the Hamilton 8-yard line. Three receivers to the right. That's the short side of the field. Pump fake by Caleros to the right, and then he throws over the middle. It is complete to Nick Dembski. It's a touchdown for Winnipeg, and they take the lead. So each team scoring on their opening position. Mark Leggio on the field to attempt the convert. The hold, the kick, and it is good. So the Bombers convert the touchdown. It is 7-3 for Winnipeg. Just over five minutes to go. Second and five for the Tiger Cats from the Winnipeg 8. Empty backfield for Evans. Throws for the end zone. Perfect pass. It's a touchdown. Tim White with his team leading sixth of the season. And the Tiger Cats are ahead again. Seth Small steps up, and he's still perfect as a Tiger Cat in converts. Dane Evans has gone six for seven. Mark Leggio attempting the field goal from 27 yards. The snap, the hold, the kick, and it's good. Leggio hits from 27 yards. And how about the offenses in this game? Both teams have scored on their two possessions so far, and we're tied after one quarter of football at Tim Hortons Field. It's Winnipeg 10, Hamilton 10. Seth Small on the field, attempting a 41-yard field goal. The snap, the hold, the kick, and Seth Small hits another field goal for the Tiger Cats. So the offense keeps putting up points. It's now 13 to 10 for the Tiger Cats leading the Bombers. Great to see Matt Schultz back out there holding the field goals uh, for Seth Small. 13-10, Tiger Cats lead, Zach Caleros, he's sacked, the ball comes loose, (laughs) and Malik Carney picks it up, it's a touchdown, Tiger Cats, the defense does it again. Wow. And now Hamilton leads 20-10, and we're early in the second quarter. Mark Leggio is on the field, but he does the kicking and punting for the Bombers. As this situation, he will be punting. Leggio's kick, that will bounce at the five and roll into the end zone. And David Ungerer, not being pressured by the Bombers, slowly takes an knee. So that will be a point for the Bombers, and it is 20 to 11. The offense is scored on every possession, and Dane Evans going for it here. He's got Dunbar open. Wow. He makes the catch. It's a touchdown. Tiger catch. Stephen Dunbar. It's happy hour. Seth Small. He's on the field now for the 32-yard convert attempt, and it is good. The Tiger Cats continue to put up points. It's now 27 to 11. Mark Leggio attempting a 34-yard field goal. Three of his four misses this season have been inside 40 yards. 
There's the snap, the hold, the kick. And it's down the middle, so the field goal is good for the Bombers, and that will get them up to 14 points. A fresh set of downs. Dane Evans looking deep. He's got a receiver open. It's caught. It's Keandre Smith. It's his first CFL <laughs> touchdown, and he does a flip in the air. Tiger Cats can't be stopped in this opening half. Prukop coming in. Didn't get much. Mark Leggio. He will attempt a 36-yard field goal to try to cut into the 20-point lead that the Tiger Cats carried with them into the second half. This is the first possession of the second half. Tiger Cats watched Winnipeg take off over four minutes of time on the clock, and it ends with a field goal. Mark Leggio's kick is good. High snap for Dane Evans, fakes the handoff to Wes Hills, and it is a touchdown! Tim White is shining bright, his second of the game. First time in 35 games, Tiger Cats have scored 40 or more points. October 4th, 2019 was the last time they did it. Set I was small, out there. Hits the convert, that's right, <laughs> you were out there. You were out there, you were probably contributing. Uh, 2019 was a tough year for me, RJ. <laughs> Dakota Prukop under center. Goes to his right, dives into the end zone. It's a touchdown for the Bombers. So very early in the fourth quarter. Now instead of 32 yards, it'll be 37 yard convert attempt for Leggio's, Mark Leggio. His misses have been short this year. That's right, three and four enough. inside 40. And really nothing changes, no problem. Leggio makes the convert. A good drive by the Bombers. They started on their own 25. They went 13 plays, 85 yards. Bombers no huddle again. The pass to Rashid Bailey. He leans over, and it's a touchdown for Winnipeg. 9.24 to go in the game. The convert by Legio was good. It's 41 to 31. Now it's just a 10-point lead for the Tiger Cats. Evans looking for the end zone. It is I caught. It. David Ungerer in tight coverage makes the catch. It's another touchdown. The fifth touchdown thrown by Dane Evans today. Tiger Cats needed a sustained drive, and they took nearly eight minutes off the clock. It culminates in a touchdown, and Seth Small successful on the convert, and the Tiger Cats lead 48 to 31. Caleros throws over the middle, it's intercepted. That? Cam Kelly, his team leading fifth. He's across the Winnipeg 40 and finally tackled. Another turnover created by this Hamilton defense, the third of the game. And the Tiger Cats are going to win the turnover battle and that's going to translate on the scoreboard and the crowd starts to get loud at Tim Hortons Field. Coach O, so many of the players saying after the first 12 games, two thirds of the season, don't give up on us. Against the defending champs, the two time defending champs, it was close to a must win. And the Tiger Cats are going to win. Another knee taken by Dane Evans. That's it. The game is over. The Tiger Cats win 48 to 31 in their most impressive victory of the season when they needed it most.